can you create a team booking calendar on Google Workspace that can review all team member availability, allowing bookings as long as there's at least one member available? Oh, I saw this comment. Uh, would love for our team to book without having to check four different calendars. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a really great way of doing this because what you're, what you're asking for is a round robin where you have a pool of resources and it's, and it's gonna pick from one. What you can do, I don't know if this would work, but what you can do is you can add, you can add multiple co-hosts to a calendar event. And then I guess maybe you could have other people just not show up. I don't know, this, this, seems, real, this seems real sketchy, but let me, let me show you what I mean. So there is an option to add multiple people to a calendar event when you create a booking link. So if I open up my, open up my calendar here. Okay, so we're gonna create a calendar event test event here and I want to make this an appointment schedule so multiple people can uh, you know use a booking link to log in I make it an appointment schedule and yeah go away Google all right set up the schedule there's a fresh account so it's like bombarding me with all of the so when I set up an appointment here I can actually choose you know when it's happening what days it's available blah 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 but then I can choose co-hosts, right? So I can, I assume, only choose inside it. I can add all those people as co-hosts, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and sit, hit save, right? So what this does is it puts this automatic booking link onto a booking page. I don't know why it's taking. Okay, so hopefully now, oh, where, where's my booking link? Where's my booking link? Did I, oh no, did I cancel it by clicking out of it? I hope not. All right, so we're gonna make an appointment schedule. I'm gonna add a bunch of people as co-hosts. Ah, oh. oh, that's interesting. So it gave me an error and said, you can only add people from your organization. And then it let me add, then it let me add them. Maybe that's why, it, maybe that's why it bugged out. Okay, looking good so far. Oh, unable to save appointment schedule. Oh, it bugged out down the bottom there. Okay, so let's try editing. Unable to delete. Oh, that's a bug. We found a bug, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. So clearly only for people inside your organization, although it did let me set it up. Let me add them. So uh, I have no idea. I have no idea who's on this test account. Is Georgia on there, my producer? Who's someone I'm not gonna annoy? There we go, okay. The booking page was instant. That's what it should have done the first time. Uh, but here we go, we've got our booking page now. This event is only gonna show up as available when you've got all of your, when you've got all of your people available. So everyone has to be available for this event. And when someone books in for that event, right? taken that appointment slot here we go so Peter Moriarty has taken that appointment slot great okay cool so Peter at Moriarty.co so this is the, this is the customer my personal account is the customer and uh, my my test account here is obviously the uh, the owner they set as the organizer now ISA and JP have also been added there as well you could if you wanted to have ISA and JP just declined that. Like someone could put their hand up and say, I'll take this one and everyone else could decline it, right? Me, even as the organizer, it's on my calendar. I could even, oh, I can't say no. That's interesting. It's a bit of a bummer. If I delete it, it's gonna delete the event itself. It's gonna be, it's gonna be messy. Like I could not show up to the event, but then my calendar's blocked out for other people. What this person is trying to achieve is technically possible, but it doesn't really work because everyone's got to be available for one appointment to be exposed, which is not really what you want. So that's a very long way of saying it's better to use a secondary app for that. <laughs> this is not, it's not the best solution for that. So what I'd recommend you use instead is an app called Calendly. Very affordable, very popular, great app. There's a number of things out on the market at the moment, but somehow this one just became the app to use for everyone. And it does exactly this very well. You can set up lots more settings than the very basic Google Calendar gives you. And Calendly gives you the ability to do all of this in basically one little app that is just dedicated to getting bookings perfect. You can accept payments, you can send SMS reminders, does all these cool things that you can't get done. 
on our website if you go along to itgenius.com and hopefully you do and book in a free consultation with our team on the thank you page after you fill in the form that's what we use so if you've if you've booked in a call with our team before or if you're interested in booking in a call you'll get this little widget here and then you book in a time now this is looking at two sales teams one in australia one in the us it's looking at who's available it's looking at who's in or out on a particular day and very, very cool little app, very cost effective as well. Uh, we really love it. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.